Hey everyone, FPS Chazza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters with Lamy. This is first salvo and I'm playing as a P3 Orion. Our mission is to find that Oscar and keep tabs on him. We have peacetime ROE in effect. We can't start shooting until people start shooting first. So, I know he's off in this general area some way, so let's set a vector for that general direction and start laying some Sona buoys here. I'm very excited to be doing this because I love the P3. It is so much fun. Alright, so, didn't really care about messing with my wing loadout. It's not really going to be dealing with that. <coughs> we are primarily dealing with anti -sub We are only dealing with anti-submarine warfare here, so I'm staying off radar uh, just so those, when those freaking fox, bat, fox, fulcrum, whatever they were, come in, they don't hit me or whatever. Incoming transmission. Ooh. What do we got? Conduct Sona buoy search in patrol area 3530 north, 27 east to 35 north, 2740 east. If confirmed, sub located, maintain contact. Uno der. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Alright, uh, I might as well just draw that little box out on here then. What do we got? We got 3530 north, 27 east. 3530 north. 27 east, so yeah, and then two, 35 north, 27 40 east. All right, so there is our little box there, our little semi box that we are to search. So very well. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a better job of getting like freaking straight lines from this crap. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Give me an area circle. There doesn't have to be too terribly precise. I'm just a precise kind of person. It bugs me if I don't make it precise. <laughs> All right, there you go. There's a little search cube, sir. Square. Oh my God, we are getting very close to land. Climb, climb like your life depends on it. Jesus, <laughs> wasn't even paying attention to that. I don't, I don't know if that would automatically crash into the land if I wasn't paying attention. That would be silly, wouldn't it? All right, let's just go ahead and delete that. Let us get over this little island here. <clears throat> we are going to start laying sonar buoys. I think I'm going to go for 10 nautical mile intervals at first here. With the, the Vlad. Just do a Vlad sweep of 10 nautical mile intervals. I'm going to start right over here, it looks like, maybe. So let's set some waypoints. I'll make them 10 nautical miles in the vertical direction, but about 5 nautical miles apart in the... Uh, the other direction. Oh, we'll stretch it out a little bit more. Closer to 10. Maybe like, ah, son of a bitch. Alright, yeah, let's get this little, uh, get this little grid set up here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Alright, do that. This. That. This. That. This. Uh, that. This. And that. There you go. There's a little Sonobuoy grid with which to deploy Sonobuoy. So I'm going to go ahead and get down there, hit the deck, get close down just so I can make some precise drops on these Sonobuoys here. Man, look at that dive. <laughs> hit some negative Gs in that going there, I tell you what, boy. Freaking gimbal going crazy. Okay, we got our Hawk out here. A supposedly friendly craft out here, which I think is the bear, the bear foxtrot. What do we got over here? A Vishnai. Why is there a Vishnai in the middle of the fleet? And there's some F-18s and sentries being scrambled. Oh, no, those aren't sentries. Excuse me, those are Vikings. Viking has been set aloft. I don't think there's a Vishnai in the middle of this fleet. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. Oh, we got a Viking up here by these guys. Perry has a... Seahawk on scramble. Those two things going on. Very well, we're getting close to this. I'm going to slow down to Changing speed. The slow one speed here, five, 154 four knots. knots. Just because we're not in... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick for 200 knots here. About 200 knots seems about good for me. Changing speed. Now, when you're doing this, you don't want to be too low to the ground. And you don't want to be going too slow because then your plane can't make very quick turns. So you'll be like spending a long ass time making turns with a very not sharp turn radius, so it'll take forever for Sonobuoys to deploy. 
I'm going to power on the ESM. That can be on. Um, I'm going to leave the radar off. No sense in betraying my position if I don't have to. Uh, keep the mat on. Just always keep that on. Should have turned that on earlier, but I don't think I missed anything yet. Uh, my one friend and I were playing a multiplayer mission once, and uh, he was piloting the P3, and I was doing everything else, basically. And uh, decided to turn the mad sensor on, and all of a sudden, right in the beginning of our search, we just get a mad, mad, mad right on the cooler right there. So if I hadn't set that, it would have taken us a long time to find that bad boy. So sometimes you just do end up getting some dumb luck going on. So this Oscar, probably not near the surface at this point, but he will be at some point. So that 500 foot depth max floor for mad detection will come into play. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we are approaching first waypoint. Getting ready for our first Sony buoy deploy. I'm just going to deploy from external tubes. We are doing our search with Vlad Shallow. Remember, Vlad's the shortest name, then Die Far, then Die Cats. That's your order for acquiring a target. That's when you. Want, that's how you want to drop them in like that. And then start with your Vlad's, then move to your Die Fars, and then go to your Die Cats. Um, I think you could just go from Vlad straight to Die Cats if you wanted to, but sometimes Vlad's just go too deep. The shallow one goes 600 feet. That can be, indeed be too deep. I need to be aware of my... Okay, so all my deploy zones are in fairly deep water here. This one over here is going to need a dive far. That is uh, too too deep of water there for a Vlad, Vlad Shallow there. But all these other points I can use Vlad Shallow. Uh, the Vlad Deep would go beneath the layer. I'm going to stay above the layer. Um, I think in this game, if you're within like 1.5 nautical miles of a sensor, the layer doesn't exist yet, if you will, so, uh, so you got, like, a what do you got, like, a little bit of a, so, like, a bubble like that around the sensor, uh, a contact's not considered to be beneath the layer, I think I've seen that somewhere, I've definitely experienced it, hearkening back all the way to Red Storm Rising, when I was beneath the layer, and that one freaking Nustra Shimi wouldn't get off my ass, he was within one and a half nautical miles, that's the only reason I could hear him. Already, drop, drop, drop. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever really done a first serious ASW hunt in a P3 on a video on my channel. Have I? I don't think I have. So this is going to be fun. I'm excited for this. How long until we finish this loop? 30 minutes? Very well, that is perfectly, perfectly fine with me. That is, uh, I've played as the Russians already, so I know their attack's supposed to begin at 6, 6.30, oh, 6.30, so that gives me an hour to, uh, try and get a lock on this guy here. Hmm. So pending anything popping up, I will meet you when I finish my Sona buoy drops. Alrighty, we have a hot buoy. We have a hot buoy. New EW contact. Assigned track number one, zero. Zero. Hate how it doesn't uh, freaking say what the EW contact is. It's probably this guy right here. But we have a hot stone of buoy. It may be picking up this biologic here. Let's go check it out. Channel 1. And I don't want to forget that I... Uh... Okay, yeah. What do we got? Damn, yeah, it is picking up that biologic. That's going to make this confusing just because all these buoys are going to go hot then. I'm not going to tell which one's actually giving me real data and which one's just showing this biologic here. Well, fun. That is fun. What is the bearing to that biologic from this Sona buoy? 212. I don't think it, I don't think there's any audio on Sona buoys. <laughs> but it would be on this bearing right here. Alright. Oh, yes. Just to verify what the layer is, I launched a bathiotherm probe just to double check on that. Those bad boys don't take too long to come hot. I'm just going to take this buoy off of here. We don't really need to be seeing that right now. This is going to be on channel 6. This bad boy here. It's going to take a while for that to come up. Not too... Oh, there you go. Right there. Layer 6, 7, 4 feet. Very well. About 200 and... Uh, 220 meters, 230 meters or so. Okay, so that's a pretty shallow layer then. Hmm. That's shallower than it's been. No, it's been about that in the other missions. Okay, very well. 
All right, I'm spacing these out about eh, five to seven nautical miles apart. And I actually want to start going through and looking at Sona buoys just to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Because um, they are all, they are all going to read hot because that biologic is there. So I need to go through each one of these individually. Try and pick up if I can't see anything. So these Vlad Shallows are just about skirting the layer there. They're very close to the layer. Um, might be worth it to drop a Vlad deep here. Just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna drop one Vlad deep right around here. Let's see what we get with that. In case there's anyone lurking beneath the layer. Drop ourselves a Vlad deep. So the die far deep will not go beneath this layer. So you're gonna need Vlads if you wanna go beneath a, a deep layer there. I think the Vlad deep only goes to, or the deep far, die far deep goes to 400 feet. And the die far shallow goes to like 60 feet or something like that. It's not much. Okay, so channel two is clear. Um, so I have 16 grams. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I could have at most eight buoys up at once on directional mode. Or I could put 16 buoys up on single channel mode and then just turn a frequency alert on and uh, just fly around waiting for something to happen. <laughs> so, our. Okay, so we got the layer from that bathyotherm. I guess I could scuttle it if I wanted to. I might just leave it. I want to check out. Uh, yeah, so I just want to walk through and check out all these buoys. Not having my timer going. Alright, um. I wanted channel 3. Thank you very much. What do we got on channel 3 here? Yeah, I really don't think I've done a good ASW hunt on a, a P3 yet. Hello. We have a contact. New passive contact bearing. Two, five, Ooh, drop zero, that son of a boo right three, now. Zero, three. Assign track number we got some, one, some guy zero, close. Zero, close to buoy 3. Let's go check out buoy 4 now. This is when it gets fun. Oh, I love being a P3. So much fun. Alright, uh mode okay nothing on channel four so it's probably very close to channel three i probably just got lucky with my buoy drop there so i'm going to see what happens with buoy channel 10 otherwise i'm probably just going to break off this uh, buoy laying expedition here and go and investigate channel 10. Oh, what is this guy doing he's dropping one random die far center buoy out in the middle of nowhere get on my game bro Bad. Mad, 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 mad. We just overflew a contact. Drop a buoy right now. Die cast shallow. And give me a die far shallow as well. Mad, mad, mad. Oh, I love it. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. All right. I want to get this on channel 10. That's why you always keep your mad sensor on. Right there, ladies and germs. Keep that mad sensor humming. You got nothing to lose not having that bad boy turned on. You got nothing to lose having it turned on, excuse me, let me correct myself. So we got a decast shallow ready to make a contact, and we could, uh... But we have to sit on it, we have to sit on our hands for a while here. We have to sit on it, because this is this is a friendly ROE. The Russians have not done anything yet, so... Well, first off, I'm going to stop this waypoint thing I got going on and come back for another pass. Normally I would just set the waypoint past the contact, but I want to make sure my plane actually flies through it so I can try and get another mad on him. Still waiting for 10 to come hot here. And uh, I might not promote this to the link because the AI has a tendency to want to come in and steal your kills. So I'm going to leave this guy all to myself, but I may promote him to the link, who knows. Alrighty. We are waiting for buoys to become hot. Okay, the BT probe is not going to become hot. It's just a BT probe. Alrighty. Uh, not getting EW on these contacts anymore, so I might as well, well at least drop that one. That one's definitely old. This one might be updated shortly here. So we're coming in for another pass. Buoy channel 10 is hot. We got, we got 51.27. Mark that. Very well, got ourselves an intersection. Let me get my frequency sheet.
And let's hunt some orc. No, not orc, we're hunting, uh, Oscar. Hunting Oscar. Let's go to the front of the frequency sheet. We want nuclear powered multiple shaft. Here we go, Oscar 2, 5130, 365. What about the kilo? Kilo, kilo. Diesel electric, 5160, so this is mad, not a kilo. Mad, 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 mad. Mad, mad, mad. Very well. I'm going to hold off on the uh, the active pings there. I don't want to give away my position yet. I don't want to give away the fact that I know he's here. He does not know that I'm here. Unless he has his periscope up. Uh, I'm not sure if this has periscope sightings. I'm going to turn this on. Who knows when you might see an Oscar on the surface. Who knows? I know it, it's rare, but who knows? You know, could happen. All right, uh, we want buoy channel 12. Probably shouldn't have been so itchy on that trigger finger with getting that die cast shallow out there, but... Oh, God, did that come up? I don't know. Um, it may have. <laughs> oh, we got the die far shallow right there, though. Uh, waiting for him to come hot. Channel 12. Might as well bring that up. Wait for that to get hot there. It is hot. What do we got? Not getting anything? Interesting. Very interesting. He could be beneath the layer then. My Vlads could be uh, picking him up since they're close to the layer. But you'd think if it was farther from the layer, it would be more willing to pick it up since it would be more willing to be past the critical angle. I don't know. It's weird the die far shallow is not seeing it though. Very weird indeed. Alright, I'm going to drop a Vlad Shallow up this way. Right over this way here. Speed up some time to get a Vlad Shallow off in that direction. So yeah, we got our Oscar found. And we are persecuting, prosecuting, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, it's hot now. Oh, no, that's just because I'm getting data on it. I wonder if 11 would show it. That would be interesting to see. Wouldn't it, mod? Nope. Yeah, so we're gonna drop. I'm gonna drop another Vlad shallow. Get a good triangulation going on here, and then uh, maybe try and get another mad pass here. So, if everything is going well and going to plan, this Oscar should not know I'm here. So, yeah, just get rid of these guys then for the time being. I'm not sure if that die cast shallow is gonna pick him up then. I don't know. So the way this is going to go, I'm not really going to be able to launch my torp on him until he loses some missiles. So I'm, not, I'm just going to be ready to get that torp out there. Get off auto crew, please. Thank you. Alrighty. But I can keep a torp ready and locked here. So that I may see this dude. So if I put this on 50, it's going to go like, frequency alert, frequency alert. At least it should. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for that to kick in. Channel 3 has lost him. No. Getting some whiffs. Channel 3 should be seeing the frequency alert. It doesn't seem to be. Or the, the frequency alert should be going like, oh, 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 going crazy. Doesn't seem. I don't need it all. And I found this Oscar, man. Found him. 130 right there. Library. None. There you go. Ah, Oscar 2. Boom shakalaka. Shake what your mama gave you. I know there's only two frequencies there, but this is most assuredly at least not a kilo. I can say that much. This is not a kilo. That guy's not been updated for a while. I can drop that. Ooh. Hello. This seems to be the Baron. He seems to be getting close to me. He seems to be encroaching on my on my jizzness here. Um, what was that? No? You didn't hear anything? Nor did I. Okay. No, get that out of here. I want channel 13. I have to wait for this to come up here. But we are losing signal strength on channel 3, which is... I'm pretty sure he's heading southwest then, to get closer to that fleet. So, let's try and come back around for another mad mad contact here. Mad world. Mad world. Alright, um... Oh god. Could I track onto that? Dude, da. 53. I might be able to track onto him. I think he's out of visual range, though. 
auto track. I could potentially track onto him. If this is what he's actually doing, he's getting very close to me very quickly. This bear. This bear, bear, bear. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, give me infrared. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, I see that. I see that. See that? Contact. Photo of Mark. Now we're in the midst of a turn here. Freaking thing needs to hurry up and expedite this turn. So I can level out. So my auto tracker doesn't go crazy here. Alright, get off auto track. Where did that bear... I just... I got whiffs of it just now. Where did it go? Zoom in. I was seeing bear. I was seeing bear fox trying to get another whiff at him. Don't worry about it. Channel 13 waiting for contact. He's kind of heading away from me at this point, but he should still be closing. I'm going kind of slow. I was seeing him, though. I don't know why I'm not seeing him now. Normal. Might be easier to see him with normal here. Where ye be? There it is. Bear Foxtrot. Right there. Mark. I don't know if it'll let me mark air contacts on the camera, but I see him. I see that son of a bitch. Bear Foxtrot coming in hot. He's going to be coming in for a close approach. I don't have any air to air missiles. <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, do they outload. outfit harpoons with air to air missiles? I don't know. That would be fun right about now. <laughs> It's like some Cold War crap going on here. Auto track. There it is. What is it looking like on the normal? I can ever so slightly see him. Grayscale. Yeah, I see him on the gray pretty good. And the LLTV. And ever so slightly on the normal there. Infrared. Ooh, nothing on the mat. He is displaced. He is displacing. He is changing around. Mode. Mark. Passive contact bearing. One, three. All right, I'm gonna drop one, him off channel three, three and one, channel three. ten. Assign track number one, and remark. Zero, zero, eight. At least I can remark on channel ten here. New passive contact bearing. Three, six, zero. Alrighty. Three, channel one, My boot. Zero. Channel Assign twelve should be able to see this guy. One, zero, zero, seven. I'm going to turn back to the north here. Let's see. Oh. Channel 12, what have we got? I'm about to end this video, unfortunately. I don't want to stop, man. I'm having so much fun. Dive hard directionally. I'm not seeing anything. That's very interesting. Channel 3 is just about done here. Don't really need Channel 3 anymore. Hello, this bear fox is getting freaking close as crap. I want to swing around here and uh, try and try and take a look. See, can I see the contact bubble off on the horizon there? I should be able to. It should be right around there somewhere. Is that it right up there? Yeah, there it is. Auto track. Come into view. Come into view. Where you be, grayscale? Hello. I see them. There he is, Mr. Bear Foxtrot. Doing whatever the hell he's doing. That's crazy. We're about to get a visual contact on that. That is craziness right there. Can I see him yet with the naked eye? The Mark 1 eyeball. Not seeing anything. I'll be able to see him when he flies by, though. Mad, mad, mad. There you go. Yeah, he's moving a little bit here. Moving to the northwest. Interesting. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Auto track. Oh, there he is. Coming up high. High, high. Yeah, so he's at a pretty good altitude up there. It's craziness though. Where's me? Where am I? I should be off 
down there somewhere. <laughs> Freaking Ruskies, man. Alrighty. Yeah, where'd he bugger off to? I was probably hiding behind my wing there. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one. And, uh, yeah, take it easy. I'm gonna try and put some timestamps on these marks and try and make a rough estimate of his speed right now. But, uh, yeah, we got him on lock. He's gonna be in for a nice surprise when, uh, fireworks start flying. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Oh, he's juiced it up. Bye.